And now to a story we've been following involving employees of Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo. Newly released search warrants alleged workers helped steer an $11 million vaccine outreach contract to one popular, one particular vendor, that is. KPRC2 legal analyst Brian Weiss joins us now with more on this case. Good morning, Brian. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you, Cam. First of all, can break down what the Rangers had to go through to even get that search warrant to get this jump started in the first place. Look, Cam, anybody who's binge watch Law and Order knows that a peace officer has to do two things under oath before a magistrate judge before he or she can get a warrant. Number one, that there's probable cause that it's more likely than not that a crime or crimes have been committed. And number two, that evidence of those crimes can be found at a particular location. And Texas Ranger Darren Parker, in this voluminous search warrant affidavit, sat out under oath after examining text messages, emails, and other communications from three high-level staffers who worked for Judge Hidalgo that he believed that there had been crimes committed and evidence was likely to be found in the Harris County Administration Building last week. So, so, so what kind of crimes are we talking about that this affidavit may have been uh, is asking for? What kind of crimes are we talking about? Cam, we're looking at two things according to the allegations in this search warrant affidavit. Number one, misuse of official information, a third degree felony. It can get you up to 10 years in TDCJ, which essentially says you as a public servant made improper use of intel that you came into because you were a public servant to benefit yourself or a third party. And then tampering with the government document, that is, that's a state jail felony that'll get you two years in a state jail facility where you knowingly presented a government document and it was false to harm or obtain a benefit. And in this situation, bids that the county accepts are supposed to be above board and secretive. And in a soundbite, Cambrell, the allegations in this search warrant affidavit are that these three high level Hidalgo staffers went to Elevate Strategies and Felicity Perea, not only gave her the final exam, gave her the answers, and then graded that final exam to make sure she got that bid. A lot of information coming out of this. So up to this point, what role, if any, does this affidavit allege that Judge Hidalgo might have played in this investigation? Well, Cam, the good news for Judge Hidalgo is two words, not much. Other than referring to her in passing, her DNA is not really on it, which gives her, as we love to say in this business, plausible deniability or cover. She's also been able to say through her top-notch lawyers that these allegations are the result of political theater and a politically driven investigation. And I think we're also gonna hear down the line that these are rogue employees that set up on their own. On the other hand, there are people that are gonna say, it's like in the Navy, if it happened on your watch, either you knew about it or you should have known about it. Cam. How long before we get more information on this thing wrapping up? Look, we're in the first couple of minutes of the first period. Like they say on day one of the Masters, there's a lot of golf left. This grand jury investigation will continue. These three individuals who, by the way, are not charged with anything. And there's a far cry from allegations involving probable cause to proof beyond a reasonable doubt. But I know this, having had the privilege of working with the Texas Rangers, these guys are first ballot Hall of Famers. They don't play favorites, and they are going to go wherever this evidence takes them without passion or prejudice. Cambrell? Brian Weiss, thank you for the clarity this morning. We really appreciate it for you getting up this morning for us as well. I know you normally get up uh, at about 11 o'clock or noon, so thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Cam.